my dearest and only love. I know you're frightened, but believe me when I say I've known nothing like this before and can assure you that I never will again. Come with me, darling. Seize this thing that is true and real and infinite. Yes, it is scary, but I believe living a lie is worse. We could be happy. The movie, it's like a dual time period film. A woman in 1965, London, trying to piece together her life, which she doesn't remember. And in that process, she comes across a letter. It's clear that it was a lover of hers. So she sets out to find out who this letter was from. The overall arc of her story is a woman understanding her own identity. The process of which is her falling in love with another man while also being married. The modern day storyline is based around a reporter who's doing a story and she's at the newspaper archive and comes across one of these same letters. And it's a very passionate letter. I think deep down, Ellie is wondering if she can believe in love you know, having had her heart broken. And so finding this letter and following this trail of this incredibly passionate relationship, it gives her hope in her own life that she can find love. Now I'm gonna have to know how it ends. Although these two women have very different circumstances, emotionally they're discovering their paths in a similar kind of fragmented way. What a lovely surprise. Sorry, I'm a little early. I love to do kind of counter casting to it's something that you haven't seen before, which was definitely the case with Shailene. And she's not what is described in the book. In the book, she's blonde and she's like very Grace Kelly-esque. How am I doing, Mr. Boot? You're uh, natural, as it goes. Of course I am. She just has such a warmth about her and I really wanted the character to have that warmth. She's never played a sort of refined 60s lady. As an actress, she's super versatile. I think the Jennifer in my head is now dark-haired and looks like Shailene Woodley. Well, Andrew, it's been very nice meeting you, and you have a lovely day. Bye. When I heard Felicity was involved, I was very excited because she and I had had coffee over another project, and I knew that she was looking for something where she got to play against type a little. We've seen the wide and varied number of roles she's taken on. I always loved her the most when she was doing sort of slightly daffy comedic bits. Sorry, we don't allow food to drink. Right, this way. It was such an exciting prospect because she had been so known for these period pieces and, you know, really stoic women. So that was exciting. Action! Shailene Woodley has been an actress that I've wanted to work with for a long time. She's just so giving and loving as a person, but as an actor, 10 times that. We've watched her from the beginning and always been so impressed with the humanity she brings to every role. Felicity is just so easy to work with. She's so good at every single thing she does. We're just always making jokes around set. It's been a dream. I wanted to do something warm and cozy and really romantic with two really incredible female leads. <laughs>